Hello, John here. I thought I'd make a quick video demo of a PowerShell script I've been working on. This one is to control the RGB LEDs of a new keyboard released by DAS, the 5Q. Interesting keyboard because it has a couple of API endpoints. One local to where the keyboard is installed and another one made available within the cloud. Now, to ease the complexities of working with these REST APIs, I've created some PowerShell functions. In fact, let me show you. And as you can see, these follow the uh, recommended naming convention, the verb noun uh, of PowerShell functions and commandless. What I'll do now is just run through the use of each of these. Okay, so let's start off with some send commands. We'll do the C key for cloud. Color of aqua, why not? Effects. Now, I've pulled all the available effects from the API. I don't believe that these are all available on the current firmware release of the keyboard. I do know that Blink is, so we'll start with that one. And we'll do cloud endpoint and we do a name of cloud and a message of you guessed it cloud okay there's a bit of a common theme there let's do uh, another key let's do the v key and let's switch this color to say great okay now you'll see they've already hit the signal center. As soon as they hit the signal center, then shortly after that, you'll see that they'll update on the keyboard as well, just a few seconds later. Let's start by uh, getting one of these signals. Endpoint cloud. And we'll format those to a table. Okay, good. We can see the uh, C and V key. You can see that actually up at the top there, that the actual V key hasn't started flashing yet. There can be a bit of a lag when you use the Cloud API, uh, it's expected. So uh, it will come through eventually. Now, you'll see as well that from this table view, we've got things like um, which key they are, obvious name and messages that we set earlier, and some extra properties like is red and is muted. Now, you can use those in your script for some logic reasons. So. Let's update is red to, well, it's false now, so let's set them both to true. Okay, uh, let's notice that V key started flashing now, so that's that's done. Uh, and now if we collect those uh, commands, we can see that both of those are set to is red. Great. And now let's remove them. Done. Okay, while well, that's cleaning itself up, let's send some to the local API for speed comparison. Uh, color, let's go with fuchsia. Endpoint, set color. And endpoint, we'll do local. Now you can see as soon as I press that enter key, that L key uh, changed immediately and that's one of the benefits of using the local API it's not bouncing around off any of the servers at DAS uh, and it's just as you see it's just instant now this does allow you to work with more keys than what you would do if you were to go through the API of the cloud uh, or at least you'll get a better response rate so for a wacky example here's a script I wrote earlier this one is going to set every one of the keys uh, on the local API to blue. Zoom. And I say every one of the keys, I actually meant A through Z. But, okay, so let's get those. Oops. Let's get those. And again, we'll format those to a table, otherwise this is going to be unreadable. And quickly see, yeah, A through Z of all those keys. Also cleaning them up, to clean up after ourselves here. It's as easy as that. Okay, back to a clean slate. Okay, well that gives you a gist of uh, what you can do with this. For those that are familiar with PowerShell, this is going to be much easier for them than working out how REST APIs work. 
I will probably do a follow-up video uh, of how I'm using it, some real-world examples. Uh, these are going to be examples that, uh, you know, like local services and local servers and things like that. Things that are not available that IFT, that that's already, DAS have already made available to us with their cloud connections and things like that. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.